Let's try this example. Develop an application that accepts the user's name as input. The application should identify each occurrence of the letter A in the name and replace it with a star. So in a previous example, I think we've looked at traversing a string and identifying all of the A's and just counting them. But here what we're doing is we're replacing them with stars. The resultant string should be output to the user. So we're going to change all of the A's to stars and we're going to print the answer then to the user. We'll make use of instantiable classes and we'll call our instantiable class replace.java. So let's switch over to TextPad and take a look at that. Okay, so here I am in TextPad and I've already created a new file and saved it as replace.java. So this will be my instantiable class. We always start with the instantiable class first. The class header as normal is going to be cl public class replace. And inside there then the first thing I do is I declare any data members I'm going to have. Now we're reading in the user's name, so we're going to need private string name. We are also then going to have to output their name, which contains all of the stars instead of A's. So let's call that private string new name. And then we know if we want to manipulate a string and to change the contents of a string, what we're going to use is a string buffer. So private string buffer, strbuff. All of our declarations go at the top. Okay, so variables and objects. Then we have our constructor, which is public and gets the same name as the class, public replace. In here then, name is going to be a new empty string. New name is also going to be a new empty string. And strbuff is a new string buffer. So we create our object in our constructor. Okay, so any objects that you might want to use in an instantiable class can be created in the constructor. Now we need our set method. So this is as normal, public void set name, string name, this dot name equals name. We're also going to need our get method, public string get new name, return new name. And then in here, I'm going to do my compute method, public void compute. And my compute method is where I'm going to traverse my string, identify the A's and replace them with stars. So if we're going to traverse a string, we've seen in previous examples how we can use a for loop. So we'll use a for loop for, and we want to traverse from the first index to the, in the string to the last index in the string. So here our counter in our loop is referring to the indexes in the string. So we do int i equals zero, i is less than word dot length, i equals i plus one. Okay. Inside my loop then, I want to check if the character at index i is equal to an a. So I'm gonna have an if statement. So if word.char at i, so if the character at i in word is equal to an a, I'm going to do something. What am I going to do? So if I find an a in my string buffer, or in my word, I want to put a star in my string buffer, okay? So what we're doing here is we have our contents of our, our name, I've switched from name to word, apologies for that, Sh that should be name.length and name.charat, apologies for that. So if we find an A in the name, we want to put a star in the string buffer. So we're going through and we're literally, the way that we actually do this is we never change the string. We copy the letters from the string into the string buffer in the order in which we want them. So I say, if name.charadi is an A, strbuff.append a star. Okay, so if we find an A, we append a star to the string buffer. Else, if we don't find an A, if we find anything other than an A, strbuff.append 
and this time we want to just append the letter. So if it's any other letter, we just want to append the letter itself. And the way that we access the letter itself is name dot char at i. Okay? So take a look at the letter at index i in name and if it's an a, put a star in the string buffer. But if it's not an a, put the letter itself in the string buffer. And then we close our if statement. And then we close our loop. Okay? So we're going to loop through. Say if we take, for instance, the name Francis. The first time into the loop, i is 0, so we're looking at letter f. So if f equals an a, append a star to the string buffer. But it's not, so we don't, we don't put a star in the string buffer. What we do is we put the letter itself in the string buffer. So now the string buffer contains f. Then we loop back around. We're now looking at index 1. So if or equals a, append a star to the string buffer. But it's not, a, it's not an a. So we append the letter itself. So now we have f and or in the string buffer. We come back around again. And we look at the next letter, which is a. If a equals a, append a star. And it is. So we put a star in the string buffer. So now we have f or star in the string buffer. We check again the next letter if n equals a and it's not. So we append the letter itself. So we have f or star n in the string buffer. And we continue like that until we get to the length of the name, until we get to the end. What's really important is we have said in our get method that we want to return a string. Right now all we've got is a string buffer. So we need, when we've finished our loop, so after our loop, but still inside our compute method, we want to turn our string buffer back into a string. Okay, and this is where our new name comes into play. New name equals strbuff dot to string. So it takes our string buffer, turns it into a string, and stores it in new name so that that can be returned to the app class. We compile that, complete it successfully. So now let's take a look at the app class. Okay, so here you'll see I have my app class. It's a new file. I've already saved it as replace app. I'll just pop in my comment, replace app.java. The author is Francis Sheridan. And today's date is the 19th of November, 2013. Okay, my class header is as normal, public class, replace app. Then we have our main method header, public static void main, string args. Okay, close your curly brackets now if you think you're inclined to forget them. Now, in this class, we want to ask the user to enter their name. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is import our Java X dot swing dot J option pane. And now we'll create our variables. So we need a variable for name and we need another one for new name for the one that we print out with the stars in it. We don't need to declare our string buffer here because we're not going to use it here. We've already used it in the instantiable class. So we do need an instance of our replace object. So replace my replace equals new replace. And now I ask the user for input. Name equals j option pane dot show input dialog null enter your name. We don't need to parse anything. J option pane reads a string. We're expecting a string, so that's fine. My replace dot set name to name. Then we go to the my replace class and we compute. So we do the changes. And now we need to get new name back. New name equals my replace dot get new name 
and we print it out. J option pane dot show message dialog your new name is plus new name. Let's compile that. Tool completed successfully. So if we run that now, enter your name, Francis. So this should come out as F or star N C E S. Your new name is F or star N C E S. So that has worked correctly. So we use our string buffer by looking at our string, taking the parts we want, changing the parts we don't, and you can do all sorts of things. So really still we're not manipulating the string we're copying it into a string buffer and making the changes there we then take our string buffer we turn it back into a string and we print the solution to the user so string buffers just give us the opportunity to manipulate strings often you'll look at you'll see examples where words have been reversed um, letters have been replaced with numbers all sorts of things so that's characters, strings and string buffers and how they all work together. And the best thing to do now is to go and try some more examples in that. Um, the next topic we'll be taking a look at is arrays. So see you then.